Hey, it's Jake here from Network Nerve, and this is episode 3 of uh, Pong LWJGL. Uh, and in the last tutorial, we set up the GUI class. In this tutorial, we're probably going to be going over entities. So, make a new class called Entity. And then, we're going to start making variables public float position x public float position y public float motion x public float motion uh, y public float width public float height public float speed and public rectangle rect and no, import rectangle And it's going to be in this one. So basically, what I did was um, set up the x and y coordinates, uh, the motion that's moving in, that are added to the x and y, and the width and height of the entity, uh, its speed. And this is a class uh, that handles collisions and uh, intersections. So we'll use that when like a ball collides with a uh, paddle or something. But that'll be in later tutorials and this might have been the wrong one. Let me just fix that. Java type T, yeah, that's our one. All right, so now we need to add a constructor and in this constructor we are going to have an instance of the Pong class Pong Pong alright, this dot position Oops. position x equals zero this dot position y equals zero this dot motion x equals zero this dot motion y equals zero width and height um, a good default one would be 16 you can change that if you want it all depends on how you want to play it and for the rectangles this dot rect equals new rectangle and then this dot rect dot x equals this dot x actually we can actually move this into a function public void set bounds this dot rect equals this dot position x sets position y with this dot So basically what this function does is it uh, tells uh, Java the dimensions and coordinates of your rectangle 
uh, then you can use it to compare to other rectangles and you can check if there's a collision which is one good thing that's built into Java already, you don't even have to code it out um, so the next function we're going to want to do is public void on update and here we have an instance of pong and then this dot rect equals dot set bounds and this will keep updating the Alright, I'm back. I had to fix something. Um, so basically what you're going to do is set it back to void. This will keep setting the bounds, and we're also going to want to put in the constructor. There we go. So now, this dot move oh oops this dot move entity this dot motion x this dot motion y so we need to create that method rename these to make it easier for us. And we're also going to want to make a function called public void to render. And from here we're also going to make what? Public GUI. GUI this dot GUI equals new GUI. And then for a do render, we also need to call it this dot do render. And we also need to set instance of Pong. Pong. So, in the move entity, it would be this dot position x, and it's to mx, and this dot position y, it's to my. Alright, and the last one is do render. GUI dot draw rect this dot position x this dot position y this dot width height and we're gonna have it as black for default Normally in hex it would be six characters, but the extra two is the alpha channel. So keep that in mind when you do that. It, your hex code would start here, and you would tell the transparency here. I got it mixed up a few times and kind of threw me off. So this should be it for our entity class. We'll add more things to it in later tutorials, but this should be a good base tutorial class to use. Uh, in uh, future episodes. So, until next time. <laughs>